Hey, Impact, Mike here. And I hope you and your family are doing well and staying healthy. And so even though we're still in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic, I wanted to give you an update of what July is looking like for Impact. You know, our goal has always been to open up our campus more and more. And although it's not entirely clear because the fog hasn't cleared up completely yet, with these plans, I'm gonna ask for grace and flexibility. So please check out our Facebook page regularly for any changes to these plans. But here's what we're doing starting the first full week of July. First, the Impact offices will be opening Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 5 p.m. to meet any the needs of our community in person. We wanna be available to you, so now you can set up a time with in-person meeting with a pastor or get personal counseling or request benevolence. Uh, whatever your needs may be, we wanna be there for you. Also in July, a select few of our small groups are beginning to meet again. Divorce care class, bridges, single ministry, um, ISM small group uh, will be allowed to begin meeting together on campus. Just make sure you check out with your leader to confirm what the exact plans are for your particular group. And we know that we want to get back together on the weekend. So starting Sunday, July 5th, we're providing something we're calling gathering space. Now, gathering space is not a service, but it's a chance to gather intimately with us at two separate times, 9.30 and 11 a.m. There will be no message or live music, but this will be a time to gather for a brief devotional and a time of reflection hosted by me. Our prayer room will be open for you to request prayer from our prayer team. And of course, we will take communion because that's what the church does. We're still adhering to the CDC guidelines, and since the rest of our campus outside the worship center will be closed, hey, we're asking you to bring your own coffee and folding chair if you'd like. Of course, if you don't have a chair or simply forget, we have one you can use. This will make it easier for our guest services to sanitize after each gathering space time. You know, we've always longed to be a place uh, for people to seek God together without the stigma of being uncaring or judgmental. And because we're following the CDC and Sacramento County uh, requirements, uh, mass will be required. It is our hope that we can be a community of grace and compassion to those with medical conditions that prevent them from wearing a mask. And of course, we'll be continuing to offer our weekly virtual services throughout July. In fact, these are going so well, I'm asking you to begin to pray for God to provide the resources to continue with our virtual services. We are realizing that what a great opportunity our virtual services provide to go beyond the walls of the building and to be the church in our homes. Our hope is that we increase the resources that are going to this endeavor so that we can continue to engage people online and connect them with others within the church offline. So join us in praying for God to provide the resources and reach to impact our world like never imagined. All this because we're still all about helping people discover what life with Jesus is all about. Hey, we hope you have a happy fourth and make sure you cap off your celebration right and get your fireworks here at Impact to support our children's and student ministries. Thanks for being the church with us. Hope to see you soon. Bye.